this video, we want to show that AX equals zero has a non-trivial solution if and only if A is singular. So let's go in the forward direction. Let's write down what we want to show. AX equals zero has a non-trivial solution that implies that A is singular. Now, to be honest, I don't see how to do this one. And the reason, one of the reasons I don't see a proof is I just walked away from it immediately because I think the contrapositive is much easier. Contrapositive is, well, if we negate this, that is, it is not the case that A is singular. So A is non-singular. That implies that this is not true. That is, it is not the case that AX equals zero has, non, has a non-trivial solution. That means AX equals zero only has the trivial solution. And I immediately saw that I can do that fairly easily. So suppose A is non-singular. That implies A inverse exists. Now, AX equals zero. That's what we're given. If I multiply on the left side on both sides by A inverse, because it exists, I could in now invoke dissociative law like that. And then I have the identity times X well, any matrix of the appropriate size times the zero matrix will be zero, and I times X is X. So X equals zero is the solution, the only solution. That is the only solution is x equaling the trivial solution. And that's done. Now we need to show this going the other way. Are we going to use the contrapositive or not? So a is singular implies AX equals zero has a non-trivial solution. This is what we want to prove. So A is singular implies that A is row equivalent to matrix B where B where yeah, B has a column of all zeros without loss of generality assume the column of zeros is in the last column, the rightmost column. Okay. Note, since A is row equivalent to B, AX equals zero and 
bx equals 0 have the same solutions. Okay. So b times x is equal to b, which is, I don't know, b11, b12, all the way up to b1 n minus 1, and then 0. And then b21, b22, all the way down to the next to the last column, which is b2 n minus 1, last column is 0 all the way down to bm1, bm2, all the way down to bm n minus 1, and then 0. Now, I'm going to say x is equal to this. 0, 0, 0, 0. All zeros except the last entry is non-zero. It's 7. 0, 0, 0, and then 7. When you multiply the first row by the first column, these first n minus 1 entries, they get, they get dotted with zeros. And then the 0 at the end gets multiplied by 7. We get 0. And if you follow that, it is going to be true for every row. This row times the only one column is going to give you a sum of a lot of zeros plus zero times seven, which is also zero. And this is going to go all the way down. So bx equals zero has a non trivial solution namely x is equal to lots of zeros and then the number 7 or pi or 93 or the log of 3 halves just put a non-zero entry at the end hence x equal to 0, 0, lot of zeros, 0, 7, is a non-trivial solution to Ax equals 0 as well. So, Ax equals 0 has a, actually many, has a, non-trivial solution and that's what I wanted to show ax equals 0 has a non-trivial solution why does it have infinitely many because I can put an infinitely many I can put infinitely many values instead of the 7 in the place of the 7 I could have put 17 I could have put log of 17, e to the 17, could have put anything I wanted except 0. Just stay away from putting 0 for that last entry. This completes this proof. If you love to see proofs like this, <laughs> subscribe to my channel as this is all I do on this channel is to do proofs. Subscribe to the channel, leave comments, watch and learn. See you in the next video.